Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me, um, see me okay. Hello! <laughs> we are doing a packing video. So I've been like getting ready to do this video for like the last two hours and I really don't like this angle. Let's see something here. Okay, this, I guess this works. So I got a bunch of stuff in here. I got a bunch of stuff there, over here and back there. So I pre-packed probably um, maybe a month ago, a few things and I threw it in here. So I have to take some of this stuff out of here and um, put this stuff in this little area. So there. Pillows. So these pillows will be, I'm gonna inflate them. Got them for the Dollar Tree, $1.25 now. But anyway, those are gonna be our sleeping pillows because we have evening flights. So we're so gonna do that. And this is gonna be my carry-on bag. So put that there for right now. Scrunchy toiletry area is over here. A nightlight. I pre-packed a nightlight. You guys can see that. Uh, yeah, I pre-packed the nightlight, so I'm gonna kind of put that over there. Some makeup bags. These come in really handy if you guys have ever subscribed to uh, the Ipsy makeup subscription. They always send these cute little bags with it, so I just use it for my makeup. So I may not actually use these because I have a toiletry bag, and I'll show you guys that later. But um, this is just kind of cool to have. I don't know what the heck is in here. Oh, a black permanent marker and a fluffy thing. So that's nice to know that I have that. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave that in there. So that's that. We'll move that over there because that's where my toiletry bag is. Got some nice little footies for walking around the room. I, I guess I just don't want to walk around barefoot on different floors. So I got that for that. So pajamas and stuff is over there. Put that over there sanitizing wipes I have like five packs of these different things I, I just don't know why I just thought I did not have enough so I have like five of these I'm pretty sure I won't need all five but I will like to have some for the plane so but something you all should know there's a difference for antibacterial wipes and alcohol-based wipes, the ones that actually kills viruses. So for wiping down surfaces in public places, I like to have, uh, especially like for the plane, some alcohol wipes. You know, the C word is still, well, that's not really the C word. That's the other C word. But you know, the thing that that's like highly contagious right now, I would like to prevent myself from getting that and bringing that home, so. I want to get, oh my gosh. Well, okay, so this says, this doesn't have, it doesn't like it has any alcohol in it, but it says that it's supposed to kill uh, this. You guys, take a look at that. Oh, my lighting is kind of messing that up, but you see the word there. It says it kills that. So I'm probably going to have this as my in my carry-on thing for um, on the plane and wiping down some main surfaces in the hotel room and then also wiping down some main surfaces in uh, the, our, uh, our state room. So I'm going to put that there because those will be, I'll need those handy dandy. Um, Okay, I'm a little obsessive. I think I want to have these for me and my husband's hands after we wash our hands and then this for surfaces. I don't know. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I'm probably doing way too much, but yeah, I'm sorry. Um, like I said, I pre-packed. So this is one of my possible formal night uh, dresses. And I'm just going to keep it real. Yeah, I'm like taking way too much stuff because I haven't been on a cruise in a good while so I don't even know what I'm gonna be wearing for real 
So, but you all know like when you're doing these cruises, you gotta have, let me get back in frame. When you're doing these cruises, you gotta have something for when you're going out on shore, stuff to wear around the cruise, around the ship. Um, if you like to go eating in the main dining room every night, excuse me. Um, if you like to go eating on the main dining room every night, there's certain, there's a certain dress code for that. Now you don't have to dress all the way up, but you can't have like jean shorts on. You can't have sleeveless shirts or tank tops, no swimwear. So you got to make sure you have the appropriate clothing for that. And me and my husband, we really like the main dining room for dinner every night. So, and we usually do that and we go to the comedy club after. So kind of want to have like a little nicer type of, uh, outfits for that so um it's flip flops um and so that creates kind of a little bit of a hectic mindset because okay what if i'm not now i could have it where most of my clothing that i wear during the ship walking around the ship is like bathing suits and just a coverall but what if I don't want to walk around a bathing suit all day? What if I get a little cold and I want to put something else on? So that kind of creates, I don't know if any of you, do any of you avid cruisers or first time cruisers, is this something that you think about? Is this something that you, how do you manage this? Because it makes me feel like I'm packing way too many clothes, but at the same time, I'm feeling like I need all these clothes. So, that's kind of interesting. So like formal night, purses, I think I was trying to decide which one I want to carry. Um, I don't know. I like really both of these, so. Yeah, see, there we go. It's. <laughs> oh, and this little cool little thing here. So um this little cool thing there's a it's like a it's got like there's the battery already in it so you just turn it on and it can be like on your nightstand since we are in the inside stateroom um it'll probably be a little darker in there so it's nice to have something like this and you just kind of sit on the dresser kind of give you a little bit of light to guide you through the night and i also have a night light as well that i'll show you guys Okay, so this is a really cool toiletry bag. It's got several pockets there. So you got like a mesh pocket here. Nice little mesh pocket there. Another pocket right in here. You have a lot of nice like little short mesh stretchy pockets here so you can put a lot of, like your brushes or things like that there perfume colognes colognes i got like lashes and lash glue there but then another cool thing is is that well one you got these little side pockets there too so you got so many places to store different stuff and then this is a pretty deep insert too so that your bottles of soap or lotion or whatever can fit in there so it's pretty deep but then also on the sides here oh <laughs> on the sides here these open up and you got more pockets you got more pockets in here so so yeah that's really cool that's why i brought this one and um I really like it. I really like the decor on it. These elephants and that, I don't know why. I think that's so, so cute. But yeah, you got more pockets, these little elastic things so they don't just fall out. Another mesh area there. So yeah, really neat to put all your toiletries and stuff in. And I'm gonna actually probably do all that off camera, but I just want to show you guys this little thingamabob for that. And then, so we got, I want to show you guys these. I brought these on Amazon as well. These are like cool little laundry bags. Now these are really big. I did not realize how big they were going to be, but this is big. Is it here? 
really big. So, um, yeah, I probably only really need one of these bags for our dirty clothes, but I'm gonna go ahead and take both just in case. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm just feeling like I don't know what I'm doing no more. So I'm gonna take both of them. But I got, that one's kind of like a sea green one, then I got a bright pink one. I think they're so cute. So I'm gonna put those in here. Those are probably on this little pocket there. Taking that, we also have some water shoes. That just popped right off, okay. I guess that's not really gonna stay in there. Water shoes, I got these off Amazon as well. But I really like these water shoes because they have like little holes in the bottom of them to let water and sand and stuff like that out. And they're supposed to be super fast drying. But I brought these online. My, I got this pair and I got another pair for my husband. And um, they were pretty reasonable as far as price. Um, I think they're around like 20 bucks or so, which if you plan to do a lot of traveling, you like to visit beaches or even water parks, this is a really good investment. So, I mean, I would get them. They're $20. It's kind of like a weird extra expense, but it'll be really, really useful. It'll, work, it'll come in handy. So, I feel, like, I feel like that can go there. So that's that. And then I want to show you guys this little neat little thing that I decided to do. So, shower caps. What are these used for guys? Some of you probably already know, you probably already do this like all the time, but I'm gonna use it for my shoes. So that some, you know, the bottom of my shoes, I want my dirty shoes to be all over my clothes or my packing cubes, um, which thankfully, if you don't have these, and you don't have a way to cover up your dirty shoes. Thankfully you have packing cubes where your dirty shoes gets on your packing cubes and not your actual clothes. But yeah, so I brought these, these little packs of these from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I hate how this light does, but yeah, got these from the Dollar Tree. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna stick that in there. Fits in there really nice, stretches really good. So those are those, but I'm thinking you can't. I'm gonna try to see if I can do it. Some of my shoes, I could probably put two on there at a time and it'll fit. That way I can have more of these to use. So yeah, cool. Both of these fit in there. Both pairs of shoes. So great. And do another one. These are super thin. I know these will both fit in there. Cool beans. There's that. like that. Let's do this. Be careful because I just stuck my nail like right through this bag. So some of these bags can be super thin and so they may tear easily. But you know, it still serves its purpose. I got my nice little flippity flops. It's nice to have, like, I got a bunch of other shoes. Like I have these little clear shoes that they could be good for wearing on the ship, walk around the ship, you know, they kind of dry pretty easily and they match everything because they're clear. So that's nice to have, but it's also really nice to just have some, some regular flip-flops as well. And it makes it kind of easier just to slide in, slide out of. So I always, I like almost always take these flip flops with me. These flip flops have been in my repertoire for a while. 
So I'm gonna use those again. These are coming. And then these, these little slide-ons. I know it's when it comes to packing for trips or whatever, if you can, at, in any type of way, keep things really simple, that's what you should do. Now, I've been so busy, I, I was not able to keep this as simple as I would like to, but keep things simple, keep things stress-free, you know? You're supposed to be on vacation, not stressing on outfits and what matches and all this stuff. Just do your best to keep things super simple so you can just throw stuff on and be out the door and into the fun. Come on, get in there, girlfriend. Oh, you wanna be difficult on these shoes. You know, these are my babies. You can't be acting funny with these. Oh, no. We gonna have to double bag this one because these are my babies. They can't get messed up. Put that there. Y'all, I really have too many shoes that I'm taking with me, but I put some of this stuff together in outfits and I kind of was like, that's what I want to wear. So here I am with way more shoes than I'll probably actually wear. But wait a minute, didn't I just say keep things simple so you ain't tripping about what you're gonna wear? So yeah, I don't follow my own advice, obviously. Hopefully I have enough of these because I think my husband may need these as well. And I, didn't, I should have brought another bag. Should have brought another bag of these. Doo, doo, doo. Oof. I did not put this on right. What was I doing? This is all over the place. Let's try that again. Just gonna tuck under and over. Oh gosh, I can get these shoes in. I think these are too big for this. Is, is it gonna work? Oh. I might need to buy another bag. Yeah, see, it, I just barely touched that and it ripped. Something like this is gonna end up ripping. I don't see nothing. No. Okay. Yeah, that ripped. So we'll do our best. Ugh. I really do have too many shoes, you guys. Oh, I have too many shoes. I have to still fit this in there. Okay, let's start that again. So I don't know how that long that was up there, but while it's probably in the middle of saying that these are, this is ripping, it's like I barely touched it and it ripped, a hole ripped already so if you can you might have to double these anyway because that ripped i still have my shoes for evening wear that has to fit in here so we run into a little bit of a space problem what i'm gonna do put these shoes up here Y'all, I saw these people, what they do with these suitcases at the um, airport. And let me tell you something. Our stuff making it to its destination in one piece is a miracle. Because they just throw your stuff like crazy. So, hoping none of my shoes get broken by me putting them in the front like this. I'm not gonna put that one up there. I can put these up there though. I gotta make I gotta make some room. And I'm not even finished packing. That's gotta go there. I'll put 
put that there. Put that there. That there. But definitely Houston we have a problem we're running out of space or we have run out of space oh my purse I have to take I'm just taking this purse so I have to take a purse <clears throat> yeah so I'm going to try to show you guys some of my toiletries that I am taking. So this is a lint roller. I'm wondering if I should put this in here. Temporarily, we're gonna put this in here because I would like to have that nice and handy. Um, our sewing kit. I don't know what to do with this right now, but I'm going to take this out of the box and put this in here. A little lip balm. I'm going to put that in there. Definitely going to put sunscreen in there. Got to make sure we protect our skin. No matter what hue you are, super important that you protect your skin and take care Take care of your beautiful skin. I'm gonna shove this in here too. So we're about to see what all actually fits in here. So that's my other sunscreen to spray on, which I'm thinking this will be what I'll take out to like out on shore when we're out shore because it's a quick little spray if you need to touch it up, the quick little spray. So that's what I'm gonna use that one for. So we're gonna put that there. You have your poopery, off brand, but poopery, poop spray. I got some room spray. I got this from, I got both of these from the Dollar Tree. Let's see if that focuses a little bit. Anyway, yep, Dollar Tree, Dollar 25, poopery, Dollar Tree. Dollar twenty-five. It's nice little things to have, and we're gonna go ahead and put that stuff in here. That's gonna go there. Um, nasal mist, allergy spray. So that's kind of like the medicine bag. We're gonna put that in there. We're also going to put cologne in there uh, oh shoot come on now anyway it's my first hot cheek cologne it's my favorite cologne my son brought it for me for christmas and i love it i'm not gonna take that out of the box because there's something else in there i want to protect now i still i put all that stuff in the little pockets and i still have a lot of space i could probably still put my soap and lotion right in the top here so that's really good. This is coming in handy. I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. But um, I'm thinking I'm about to go ahead and wrap this video up because you guys kind of get an idea of what this toiletry bag is, what it can do, and idea if you want to use it as well. You got to see what the packing cubes, how they, how they work, and I mean they work pretty darn good. And then. Like I said, I'm gonna put probably my underclothes, underwear type items in here. So I'm not gonna pack that on screen, on camera. So um, we don't need to do that. So the only thing I got left is my toiletries. I'm gonna use my makeup, put in a little, oops, my makeup, put in little pockets here on the side there. And so that'll be for that. Ooh, so this is the hook that you put on here so that you can hang up like your bathroom door and your stateroom usually has a little hook there and you can just hook this up there 
or they may even have a look in the a hook in the closet. But this little thing keeps coming off. So that's not cool. I'm probably gonna have to put some tape or something around it to make sure this goofy thing stays on. But yeah, um, showed you all the other things that I got that I'm taking. I'm trying to think of anything else I want to share that I was taking. Oh, so these are little hooks, little magnetic hooks. Most of the stateroom walls are magnetic. So I got the little magnetic hooks to hang different things like our lanyards or maybe even the swimsuit to dry in the bathroom or something. You can use that for this. Um, I feel like there was something else I was about to show you. Oh yeah. Then also I saw someone else, another YouTuber, the cruiser do this. They got the toothbrushes with the, the little plastic covers. Cause when they come in and clean your stateroom, they may be spraying around different things or different uh, cleansing agents. And you're not, you don't necessarily want that on your toothbrush or even, you know, the toilets like right there, the, the bathrooms are really small. So flushing the toilet, I don't know why, just kind of having your open toothbrush right next to the toilet it's kind of gross to me. So nice little covers for your toothbrushes. And I literally got the toothbrush with the covers for like, I think it was like $6 at Walmart. So really nifty tool to have there. But yeah, um, that's what we got with this. Oh, one more thing for my lanyard, for either my sell and sign card, I'll probably either have that or I'll, take that off and put it on to this. But yeah, I got this lanyard from the Dollar Tree. It's nice little pineapples. It was really cute. So I got that and um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and finish packing. I think that's all. Oh, I saw people do this and I thought it was really cute. I got this from the Dollar Tree, last thing. Thought this was really, really cute. And I was like, I have to have this because it's a true statement. It says, this is my happy place. So yeah, I'm gonna hang this outside my door, on uh, the door of my stateroom. So yeah, well, I think that's all for me guys today. Um, I have my camera equipment I got to try to fit in here too. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we gonna, we gonna make her work. But yeah, that's all for today. Um, that's all of my packing video that I have at the moment and um, I hope to see you guys soon selling on the high seas pretty soon. And so if you guys are planning your trip, I have some of the links for it, some of the items that I've purchased from Amazon, as well as other items that I think are really useful. They will be in the description area below. And uh, until next time, thank you so, for, so much for watching and I hope to see you guys again soon.